of Fighting Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for In Zero Chapter 200. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel alone, this video, are not sponsored. And I am just a very stressed and exhausted and in pain, woman, and somewhere around here, fuss budget kitty operation, struggling to keep a roof over our heads, and seriously praying that this next month we will not be homeless and sleeping on the street. Yep, that is my reality at the moment, and it goddamn sucks. <sighs> but, but, but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, what the actual fuck, Mashima? What are you doing up in here? So, we found out that... Friggin' Ziggy is keeping all these mamas up in here. So, what we saw earlier with Weiss's mama was actually true. And I understand why um, with the mama Etha, the special mama Etha. I went really ham on that last week. But I understand. Because when you hold another human life up in, up in your body for nine months, it you're going to develop a, um, probably a special type of Ether up in there. Something that no man's is going to be able to hold. Makes sense. But anyways, the thing that was very interesting is the final saint. Because all the saints are there. Even Saint Fire Knox, who is Rebecca's mama. It's like, what? Really? Really? So the only mama we miss in is Shiki's. But... Wait a minute, though. We've all been theor- Well, at least I've been theorizing that Captain John is Rebecca's papa. So, bro, why the fuck did you leave if your wifey there? Well, you know what? In all reality, if St. Fire Knox is not his wifey, his wifey is somewhere up in there. Right, Kitty? Right, that off? Yeah, yeah, go walk away. Go be an asshole cat. His wifey is somewhere up in there. He just left? Why? Well, probably to find help, that's why. But anyways, let's get to this chapter and see how uh, Mashima is going to mind fuck us with this 200 chapter. St. Fire Nux, one of the Eurasian Saints Galactica. She is your mother, Rebecca. Yes, we got a Star Wars moment two. The last of the Eurasian Saints Galactica has been captured. Uh, captured here. Siggy reveals a shocking truth. What will Shiki and Rebecca do in this chaotic situation? An intro color uh, page for reaching four years. What? It's been four years of 200 serializations? Dude, it has been four years. Oh my god. been with this manga since the beginning. I think I'm one of the only people that has been with this manga since the beginning. And chapter 200 is titled Alternative. Here we go. Ziggy! Give Shiki! Master! Well, what are you saying? Why are our mothers here? Where's Shiki's mama? Weiss's mother, Irma Steiner. Oh, hi, Irma. Cause of death, having her life force stolen by Draken. Her body was studied by physicians and stored away for roughly three months. My minions retrieved her and brought her, um, brought her to Lendard. I do apologize for raising your hopes, but she is already dead. Yeah, I figured as much. Karenna and Kogetsu, Homura's mother. Two years ago, she was retrieved from where she was confined by hooligans on Sun Jewel. She was quite weakened indeed. It seems she was retrieved a tad late. She's dead, I'm afraid. Rebecca's mother, St. Fire Knox, Archbishop of the religious organization, St. Fire, who control... Wait, what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't have caffeine for this right now. 
I should get some caffeine. Oh, I really should. I'm too lazy at the moment. What are you looking at me for, cat? Oh, I really should get caffeine. I'm being really impatient with this kitty right now. He's driving me nuts. All right. But Arch wait. Archbishop of the religious organization, Same Fire, who controls time? What? Oh, gosh. Here we go. That power was deemed as a threat. And she was recognized as one of the um, Orisian Saints Galactica. She was difficult to retreat. Indeed, all of her followers were wiped out. However, she is still alive. Of course she's alive. Mom? So the life signals were coming from her. What? She is Reen Rutherford, Jin and Clean's mother. She is dead. Holy shit, what? And this is Aruha Husser, Laguna's mother. She is dead. Oh, motherfucker, really? Okay, now you gotta give me Laguna's backstory now. More of it, I mean. Finally, Shiki. All right, here we go. I regret to inform you, my boy, that your mother is not here. Of course his mother's not here! But why are mothers here? The retrieval of your mothers was merely to set an example. Any mother would have sufficed. This is a particular ether that only mothers possess the power. See, I knew it. The power to create life. What I tell you? Collecting it will unlock the way to mother herself. Mother? To bury all humanity, mother, the source of all life must not exist. Oh my fucking God. I will seek out mother and destroy her. First we have this shit in toilet bound Hinoka kind of now this. Oh my god. I'm gonna stop you. It all ends here for you. Wormhole. Oh shit. Whoa. What? Shiki. Shiki and I need to have a talk. Pardon me. First, I have something good to tell you. The center of Lindard you've uh, been after is right here. Best of luck with your operation, Planet Eater. You can't do Planet Eater now! This is fucked up, man. Where did Shiki go? Um, where did Shiki go? He was teleported to another location. Um, how does Ziggy know about Operation Planet Eater? An information leak. Inconceivable. So there's a turncoat. Enough, white. If Captain John is the turncoat, I am not surprised. Enough, Weiss. There's another matter to attend to. If the chronophage is summoned, I can't do it. Fucking... Siki, you're such an asshole. Where am I? Where is everyone? Oh, calm yourself. You are the only one I've brought here. So we're selling this one on one, Grandpa? Of course, that is my mission. Maki make attack. Ah, here we go. Maki make attack. Grubby fist. Woo! Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Yes, we got Shiki transformed now. We got him in overdrive. Oh, this is everything. But, dude, I am shooketh by this. Oh, my God. That's my boy, Shiki. You've grown stronger, haven't you? No shit he has. What the fuck did you expect? Oh, this fight looks great. I kind of want more than... Uh, well, I always want more from Mark. Period. But... Mashima, I have to say this right now. I have been spoiled by, um, by Murata, and I have been spoiled by Azuchika, and, um, I have been spoiled by, uh, Matsubara. You gotta step up your shit when it comes to combat art. Just saying.
So this is one who has gone outside the moment of time. What are you talking about? That's a good question. What are you talking about? 20,000 years later, E and zero. Impossible. Wait, what the actual fuck? This, this signal. It's a life signal. What? Survival of the male specimen confirmed he's alive. Wait, what? Traces of Eden Zero 20,000 years later. Who is the survivor of this desolate universe? So this is in this universe if uh, um, I'm guessing. Uh, shit. I'm guessing Ziggy succeeds. This is a universe in if um, Ziggy succeeds. So this to me, what this means is we're going to get another time jump. Oh, we're getting another cat leap. Oh, damn straight we are. No doubt about it. We are getting another one. We have to be getting another leaper. But the other thing that I think about too with this, this could be, there's one or two things that could be happening here. What this could mean is one, this means we're getting another leaper. Or two, this could be referring to back when Shiki had uh, that moment right before um, the end of the previous arc when he w was um, in that fork in the road. That's what it, it seems to me like it's more the latter than the former. Could be both. But it seems to be more the latter than the former. I really hope we're not going to get another time leap. I really feel like this is kind of foreshadowing that, though. I really do. But Mom is going to be rescued. Oh, damn straight. Mama's going to be the key to this. Rebecca's mama is the key to this. They're going to get... You fucker, you are stupid for this. Unless this is all going according to Ziggy's plan, where they do rescue Rebecca's mama. It'll, if they do re rescue Rebecca's mama, it'll be interesting to see what they do. But this is an interesting conundrum. Woman, you, your mama is alive. She is alive. You could rescue the, here's the thing with mama. You could have sister rest, you could have sister save her. You just gotta get her the fuck out of there and get her on Eden Zero. Then we'll see what happens with her. But the other women, they're all dead. They are all dead. There is no reason to give a fuck about them. If, especially, especially if Ziggy is just using them to, um, using them so that, that way they, that he could destroy all life as we know it. There's no reason for this. He says it, here's the thing though, and this is why I say this is kind of like a Toilet Bath Hanoka Kun situation. I'm spoiling Toilet Bath Hanoka Kun, deal with it. Because you have the situation in Toilet Bath Hanoka Kun where um, we found out what the true role of the y Yashiros were. And if they are destroyed, everything is going to be fu fucking destroyed because of all the, uh, the uh, boundaries between life and death will be destroyed. And by destroying, uh, destroying the boundaries between life and death, everything is going to be destroyed. Yokai, humans, um, everything is going to be just gone. Supernaturals, all of them are going to be dead. Or all, um, everyone's going to cease to exist. I feel like based on what, um, I think it was Sister or Hermit was saying it, 
But remember how they were saying that everything um, has an ether? I feel like if you destroy Mother, everything that has an ether will cease to exist. And if machines have an ether, like Ziggy does, he's not going to exist either. Anything that has an ether, and I feel like that's what Mother is in charge of, really. She's like, because she's like the center of all ether. She's like the source of all ether. That's what it seems like to me anyway. They will all cease to exist. So it seems like everything will just cease to, anything that has an ether will cease to exist. That's what it seems like to me. So Ziggy, by this logic, based on what we found out earlier in um, this arc, like a few chapters ago, you're going to kill yourself in this. Are you dumb? Unless you have a way to get rid of the, unless you can survive without ether in you, there's, there's no point in this. Because otherwise you are basically killing yourself in the process. This is like kind of like a move on situation. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm going to make the argument that this is a move on situation. I'm spoiling God of High School in the process. Because we found out with Mubong in uh, God of High School, and we kind of knew this was the case with Mubong in God of High School, that Tathagata was the one pulling the strings the entire time. We all fucking knew that shit. But we got the confirmation from my husband of Satan. Something we've been saying, and we kind of already knew this for, for, um, for a while, because of the ether, that, um, that dark ether that was inside of Ziggy that resurrected him, that there was someone else pulling the strings. I wonder if that if that's the case here. That the person or whatever is pulling the strings here for Ziggy. That's why it's being that's why they're doing this is on purp they're doing this on purpose. Because they want to destroy all ether and take over. And this will be maybe like a resurrection kind. Maybe this could be a resurrection kind of thing too. This could lead to a resurrection kind of thing where they take over mother's uh, spot, uh, take over mother's role. That could be an uh, ooh, because that's another thing too. Because we're gonna go back a little further. Kind of like a Zeus kind of situation, kind of like a God situation as well. Remember, before the Greek gods, there were the Titans. There was Kronos. Who was there before Mother? Could they be the one possibly fucking with the situation, attempting to hijack it? So they were hijacking Ziggy and taking over. That's why I'm like, I feel like there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes here that need to be taken into account. Because there's no reason for Ziggy to be doing this unless he wants to kill himself. Because, uh, uh, remember, as it was said pre in, uh, a few chapters ago, that everything technically has ether in it, and Mother, who is like the source of ether, if she goes... Everything that has an ether goes with it. There's just something else that's going on here that I feel like is bigger. There's something bigger going on. Like there's something that wants to overthrow Mother and take over. And I think it's the one that's pulling the str uh, that took possession over Ziggy that's doing it. He said that Shiki's mother isn't there. Well, obviously Shiki's mama is alive. Wouldn't it be interesting if it... Nah, I don't think it's Shiki's mama, though, that's doing this shit. Nah, I don't think it's that. If it is, that'd be fucking interesting. It'd be very, very Star Wars. 
But that is another great question. Where do Shiki's parents fit in all of this? Where do they fit in all of this? There's just more and more questions here. This just raises more and more questions. But as I said, there's a lot here to take a look at. You have you have Ziggy, who to me is like a move is giving me very move on. Where uh because what we found out with uh, um with move on what Satan revealed, my husband revealed is uh, how he spread, I'm spoiling it, deal with it. He spread his uh, flesh around the world um, after, or near the end of Ragnarok. And um, he was biding his time, waiting for someone to like really, um, to really give in to their desires, uh, to their dark side, like Mubong did. And then take and then use uh, use that feed upon it, and then um, eventually we'll use that body to resurrect. That's what I feel like is going on here. Something similar is going on here with Ziggy. Some something similar going on with Ziggy, because remember Ziggy is kind of resurrecting in a way. Well, he did kind of resurrect because he was dead came back to life then you got the whole thing with mother as well and it's just and that's just really making me think of jabaku shown in hanoka kind because of what we found out with the uh, yashiros but i feel there's someone definitely with the god complex that wants to destroy mother and take over and probably recreate the universe in their own image or something like that It'll be interesting to see what direction Mashima goes with this. But that moment of time has got to be referring to that moment um, when they were, uh, when Shiki was like right before, um, right before Shura was killed. Yeah. Right before the end of the, um, right before the end of the narrow arc. Has to be. But do you guys think we're going to get a time leap? And the turncoat, obviously that turncoat is Captain John. Obviously. We ain't stupid. I'm very curious. Dude, if Captain John is the one pulling the strings, would I be surprised by it? Dude, that would be such an interesting twist if Captain John was the one pulling the strings behind all this shit the entire time. I don't know if he would be doing that, though. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to wait a little longer to see, but that's what I feel like is going on. It's something similar to what we're seeing in the um, in the God of High School. But there's something that happened before Mother was was born that I feel like that's coming into play, and I feel like I feel like we're having something similar to like either that or having something just. Flat well, similar to Jabaku Shonen and Hanoko Kun as well. Maybe a combination of the two. I'm very curious what you guys think of um, of this chapter. What do you guys think about the plan? Who do you do you guys think like I I do, where it's the one that's pulling the strings for Ziggy that's um, causing all this shit? I think it, I really am starting to think it's Captain John that's doing all this shit. Do but then. Again, you got to wonder who's the one that's controlling Captain John in the grand scheme of things. Because it ain't, obviously it ain't Ziggy. It's someone higher up. Really is. I swear to God, if this is a Gauther situation, that would be such a trip. 
Oh my God, it would be. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to uh, Nerdigans Inc. If you love what we're doing, I want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more uh, Eden Zero content. Few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.